environmental activists on Saturday staged a climate action march in Kenya's capital Nairobi, marching from Nyayo Stadium all the way to Catholic University of East Africa. The goal being to call for mobilization of resources that will equip presidents in Kenya and Africa in general to mitigate climate change and ensure that those who suffer the losses and damages from climate change are compensated. When we talk about climate finance, we are asking the developed nations, those who are responsible for this catastrophic nature of the current ecosystem and ecolog ecological crisis to own up to what they have really messed up. At the 15th Conference of Parties, COP15 in Copenhagen in 2009, developed countries committed to collective goal of mobilizing 100 billion US dollars per year by 2020 for climate action in developing countries. The goal was formalized at COP16 in Cancun and COP21 in Paris. It was reiterated and extended to 2025. We didn't see a binding deal. This was just a, a gentleman's agreement, right? But at COP27, let's see that our leaders are serious people. Let's see a legal commitments that several countries will commit to pay this amount. While plans are being made to hold those who pledged accountable, how exactly are those calling for it planning to put these resources into use? Now renewable energy initial investment is really, really high. This part of 100 billion USD is what should finance this one as we transition to renewable energy. Also, we are looking at adaptation kind of adaptation projects that can help people in dry lands, people suffering from drought. We are expecting also people suffering from floodings. We, we expect that projects will be initiated using this money to ensure that the impacts are really, really not, not, not so much felt amongst the people. But if there is not that money, then we, we are lowering human dignity. In November 2022, Egypt will host the 27th conference of the parties of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change with a view to build on previous successes and paving way for future ambition to effectively tackle the global challenge of climate change. We are calling upon the leaders of COP27 to address the issue of loss and damage financing and to come out of that conference with a suitable mechanism that will address loss and damage financing, especially for the global south. We want people in Egypt, the global presidents, to know that we are taking watch, that we are also mobilizing and we know what we want them to discuss in COP27. <laughs> Matters climate change has been a talk for a long time, but if we are to effect changes, then it has to be now. Action must begin now. What do we want? Now. Now. What do we want? Now. What do we want? Now.